Guys, we are outside the Crystal Palace. This is an all-you-care-to-enjoy restaurant, uh, American-themed foods, a nice variety, and we're going to show you how you can eat gluten-free safely here. And just how to eat here is too. So sit back, relax, and let's make some magic. Okay, so Crystal Palace is a buffet style. That means that you're going to be able to walk up, you get to pick your food. But of course, when you've got an allergy, that's not always the best option. So what I'm going to probably do is ask him wait for a consult so that he can go through and walk me through the, the actual food itself and see if there's anything they make in the back that I can have that I wouldn't have from the bar itself. Such as uh, when I was at Boma and I couldn't get the plantains from the bar, but they could make them for me in the back. So that'll be what I do separately. And then Arlene can get whatever she would like. But what they do normally is they start you with a menu like this. And what I will do to make it a little easier for you is I'm just going to take pictures of all of this. Hold on. That's page one, page two, page three. That was it, page three. So the breakfast one had a little bit more and a little more variety, but that's all good. And uh, she's looking at the drink menu, which is separate. Uh, we wait for our drinks to be taken, as an order for our drinks to be taken, and then once that happens, then we can go up and order our drinks, and we can go and get food, and you help yourself. Now again, for me, I have to be a little more careful, so once I get that information, I'll be able to tell you what works. So, I'll be speaking, speaking. We've spoken to uh, the gentleman in charge of our table, and he has informed me that uh, when I told him about my allergies, and two of them are relatively normal, where I could use this, this menu thing that I showed you, um, but because of the chickpeas, that's an odd one, so he is going to bring the chef out. Um, and I said, yeah, I would really like that, just to be able to walk through the, the whole bar and just know that I'm okay. Then uh, you order your drinks, and we both got water. I also got an Arnold Palmer, uh, which is lemonade and iced tea, but I get it with unsweetened, lemonade, uh, unsweetened iced tea. And then the sugar from the lemonade just makes it like a lemon iced tea. Um, Arlene's already gone to get her food. Remember, she can eat anything from the bar. She's just omnivore. So sh her experience is going to be what the general attendee coming here, the general um, eater, is going to experience. And then you'll get a little more from me about what the gluten-free options are. So when I show you Arlene's plates, please note, and I'll try to note it each time they show up, that what she's eating is not gluten-free. And even if it is a gluten-free item that I can have too, it's coming from the regular bar, it may or may not be something that I can take. I may need it from the back. So that's where we are. I'm really thirsty. I'm, I'm looking forward to getting a beverage. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, there's a lot of starches on it. You know, it's it's fried chicken. It's it's mashed potatoes. It's grits. It's you know, it's a lot of comfort food, American comfort food. But uh, it should be good for tonight. We can make some good things happen. I think. So we'll talk to you in just a little bit. Oh, the only other thing is that it used to be that um, poo and piglet and tigger and sometimes rabbit would actually come through. Unfortunately, they are not back. They are in the artwork and we are celebrating the Friendship Day, but they're not walking around. So it's only $39 per person rather than how much it would be, probably around $60 if you were doing it with characters, which may be to your preference. Um, I think that means the only place you see a character in park at a meal is going to be Cinderella's Royal Table and Beauty and the Beast's Castle Be Our Guest. Uh, be Our Guest, Beast walks by, Cinderella's Royal Table, Cinderella comes through, just Cinderella, not all the princesses, just her right now. Um, uh, yeah, other than that, it's just straight food, as it were. So, enough about that. Let's start showing you some food. So the chef came out, pardon the intellectual look, and said basically there aren't, there's no chickpea flour at all, no chickpeas used here, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, and she said literally, this is it. There's nothing special they make in the back. It's follow what's on this and what's here is safe. I don't need it from the back. I don't want to put the extra effort on in the middle of a dinner rush, but if you did need stuff from the back, they probably could bring you stuff from the back. Because she did say, do you need it from the back? And I was like, I, I'll be okay. Um, again, I'm not celiac. And if you are celiac, please advocate for yourself. Let them know, yes, I would really prefer if you would bring me these items from the back, etc. Do, do what makes this right for you. That's, that's really what matters. Um, I think that's it then right now. I'm going to wait till Arlene gets back and then I'm going to head over to the food bar and drink my drinks because they're here. Okay, so I've got my plate of food. Uh, I have the Walt's fav Famous Chili, uh, mac and cheese that they brought in from the back, and a platter of assorted foods that I am placing right here. 
I decided um, I'm not going to start with salad, although I will go back to salad. Now, here's my concern about looking at the salad bar, is you've got the rolls right next to it and some non-gluten-free things, and then they had shrimp at the end. And I'm just concerned about people using the wrong tongs and things to pick stuff up, because that's not their concern. Um, so I may or may not do a whole lot of salad. I have to think about that. So we're going to start with the mac and cheese. You want to use your other fork? Would you like to try this? It's tasty. Um, it reminds me of Annie's. For those of you who get like the premium, this reminds me of Annie's mac and cheese. It's got a nice flavor to it. So I'm going to say that's a yes. I have chili and no spoon, so I'm going to eat it with a fork, I guess. Go for it. Oh, you're still chewing, sorry. And I even tried to go soupier with my chili, so. Classic bean chili. A little bit of a burn, but not a ton. Nice. Isn't that nice? Yeah. So the mac and cheese from the back, order that. That's a win. Alright. Next we're trying the pea risotto. Blend worth skipping. Um, the cheesy broccoli. On the edge of being too salty, but it's nice to have that kind of fresh veggie mixed with it. I'll try the roasted veggies, uh, the mushrooms. Good flavor on those. Um, while it was meant to be used with the shrimp, I picked up a little bit of this, the cheddar grits. Very bacon. -y. Very bacon. -y. Like that, yeah, that's probably fine on its own. Wow, good salt. Almost too much salt in that, but a good salt on that. Um, the green beans were cooked with bacon and onions. I would prefer them just green beans, but that's me. And they get that smoky t flavor of the green beans. They're perfectly fine. Um, there were sausage and peppers, so we got a piece of sausage. Okay. The sausage is like an Italian sausage. But the sauce is like a sweet and sour. It's weird. I got one more piece with a pepper, so give me a second and let me see. It's a very sweet, how much barbecue sauce. That was not what I was expecting. Um, all right, the, there is a prime rib that comes with a horseradish sauce. And what I ended up doing, because I just wanted to try as many things as I could for you guys, is I got tiny little bits of a whole bunch of different things. And then, you know, two or three bites or the small, you know, small taste of as much as I could. Okay, I like the horseradish sauce. It's got a nice horseradish burn. And the prime rib is very rare. I mean, I, like, this is the cooked side of it. The other side of it is very, very, very pink. Not red. Definitely on a... On a, um, on a medium enough where the, um, the fattiness is, is, is... Could be a question. Now, the mustard sauce, they said, which has now been replaced with the peach chutney, and I'm hoping it's okay. Um, for the pork is here because they did not have it on the menu. It's a cold peach chutney. It's unusual, but it's good. You now granted, of course, I waited a little while as I was getting everything. Try this again. It tastes, it tastes like a little like 
cilantro in there. It's almost like a minted peach. Or a, yeah, it's an odd flavor. I'm not gonna say it's bad, it's just not expected. Um, let's see. I mean, horseradish sauce works on the uh, pork too, but. Um, the thing I was talking about with the prime rib, and this happens a lot with prime rib, is because they're trying to give you that rare-ish feeling to it. Um, the fat in there around the meat ends up being very, very uncooked, so. I prefer a little more cook on it, not a ton more. But good. All right, and last but not least, they had a corn on the cob. Um, some of them had more red on them, and I'm not sure what the red was, so I got something a little plainer. That's pretty good, actually. Sweet corn, salty kind of a cheesy spread, I think. Yeah, good. She bring out that, well, she did bring out like, this tree and out. It is really good, too, yeah. It's better than the regular mac. Yeah, is it? Okay. So there's your answer. Better than the regular mac and cheese. Um, so that's my plate, guys. We're going to eat. If we come out with more food, we'll let you know what we got. Okay, so one of the things that they are known for dessert-wise here is the butterscotch pudding that is gluten-free. Um, they also have sauce, a soft serve ice cream that is safe, uh, obviously not dairy-free. Uh, this is a chocolate, vanilla, and swirl, so I just got the chocolate just to see what it was like, so chocolate ice cream. Good standard chocolate ice cream, good flavor, and now... It's got cute little popcorn on top, and you scoop in, you got pudding and popcorn. So the caramel kind of picks up that buttery, and the popcorn picks up the buttery instead of the butterscotch. show you what that's all about. We'll finish this all up. Talk to you soon. Uh, I am showing you a picture of the bill right here. Uh, this is a flat rate of $39 for dinner. And then as an annual pass holder, we got a 10% discount of $3.90 off the food. I then, oh, and my drink was included. So you can get a, excuse me, a soft drink included with your meal. So that's nice to know as well. Uh, then you just tip on top of that. And that's, that's Crystal Palace, guys. Uh, if this has helped you figure out how to eat gluten-free when dining at restaurants around the Disney World area, please give this a thumbs up and share it with your friends who are also looking for this kind of content. The more I can get the word out and help people, the better off this, this channel is doing what it's meant to do to help you guys. Uh, if you've got questions, put them down below. Let me know if there's a place in the park that you want me to go to. If I've already been there, I'll share the link with you. If I haven't yet, it gives me a new place to make sure I try to travel to the next time I'm visiting. So share, comment, like, subscribe, all the good stuff, none of the bad stuff. And um, I don't have a tagline. Singing hey ho, a maiden's life, one, two, three. Hey ho, a maiden's life, won't you drink with me?